it's your girl Yana and I'm back with another video and by this title y'all can see that your girl about to do a story time on her first heartbreak um before we get to this video make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe share all y'all social media platforms and click the bell to be notified every time your girl upload on her channel um honestly this video has been requested multiple times I just didn't know if I wanted to do the video it's a life lesson and I know that uh, people, it's a lot of people that go through the same thing that you're going through or is in the process of going through it or haven't went through it yet, but is going to go through it, you know. So I like to really speak on stuff to let people know that you're not the only one going through this. You're not going to be the only one going through it. And it's okay to go through it. So, yeah, this uh, story time is my first heartbreak, but... Well, I'm going to tell y'all what is the heartbreak, basically. But, um, my subscribers love story time. So, I decided why not go ahead and shoot this story time for y'all. And, disclaimer, I am sick. So, my voice probably sound a little raspy or whatever. But, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Okay. So, um... This story time is basically about how my first love had a baby on me. Um, <laughs> yeah, y'all, that was my first heartbreak. I was 16, y'all, when I met this boy. Um, well, y'all, y'all see my losing my virginity video. It's the same boy. Um, yeah, so I was 16 when I met him. We broke up when I was like. But I was 15, about to be 16 when I met him. And um we broke up like how old was I? Let's say I was 18. I probably was 17 going on 18. I was or well, I just turned 18 when me and him officially ended things. But uh so a little backstory, like I said in my other video, met him my uh freshman year in high school, second semester. And, um, you know, we was kicking it. We was in a relationship. I was coming to see him. He was coming to see me. We were spending the night with each other. Um, I thought everything was good. Um, but clearly it wasn't. Um, 2016 was also the year that I lost my cousin. And it was also the year that, uh, you know, it was a lot of transitioning going on with my parents. So I was going through a lot of emotions and a lot of things at that time on top of him, you know, cheating on me and stuff. But, um, yeah, so 2016, I found out about the girl on Facebook because his cousin posted something. Um, his cousin posted something because his cousin was friends with the girl. His cousin posted something, and I seen the girl, like, respond with a comment. So, I went to the girl's page, and I seen that she had my boyfriend's name in her bio. But he had me in his bio, but she had him in her bio. So, I'm texting him, like, you know, what's this? Like, who is this? Whatever, whatever. Of course, he lied and said this was this, this was a little girl he was messing with or whatever before me and all of that and even had the girl go along with the story y'all I'm young so of course I, well, I was young so of course I texted the girl trying to see what's going on they got the um <coughs> they got the girl to lie with them or whatever saying oh they don't talk anymore it was old but y'all know it's old but you still got him in your bio let's talk like let's talk about it but anyway so um, fast forward, basically, he was still messing with her, still fucking her, still fucking me. Um, yeah, sorry for my harsh language, y'all, but he was still, you know, messing with her, still messing with me. And, um, you know, like I said, I was young, so when he said he don't mess with her no more, I believed it, of course, like a stupid A. Um... But then it was going on like 20, I can't even remember 
what year I don't remember what year this was in well, it had to have been 17 it had to have been 2017 it was 2017 it was 2017 actually so I found out that the girl was pregnant well okay me and the girl was arguing like me and the girl was constantly arguing but y'all I wasn't one of them like I wanted to fight I wasn't one of them at all I wanted to fight like I've been wanting to fight this girl did not want to fight and um so like I said I was on her like I want to fight I want to fight I want to fight and um you know she was scary still scary didn't want to fight still don't want to fight <laughs> but um yeah so I just I don't know I should have seen the red flags up in, before he even had a baby on me I should have seen the red flags but had I known and seen what I know and seen now I would have moved so differently with that situation but um yeah, so me and her would argue and argue and argue and argue. I was like, I want to fight, I want to fight like y'all. This is my first love, so any female that was in the picture other than me, I wanted to fight. I would argue with her, like, everything, whether it was in school, on Facebook, anything. Like, I wanted to fight all of them. That was the younger me. But, um, so yeah. And it was 2017 because I went to New York for New Year's. It was about to be 2017. I went to New York for New Year's, and we were on the uh, Greyhound bus. And I remember I sent him a little paragraph for New Year's. He didn't say. He didn't respond. He left me on scene. So then I get to New York. I post a snap or whatever. He still didn't text back, but he viewed my snap and she viewed my Snapchat, like back to back. So I knew they was together. So I text him. And I said, oh, so you sitting up around this, you know, sitting around this girl, but she didn't text me that, like, you weird. So, okay, cool. And, um, he like, LOL, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know, you don't know if that's really a man texting you. That was her texting me off his phone, but still, you sat right there and knew she was, t you know, typical nigga stuff. But, uh... Fast forward all that, because I don't really want to get into the nitty gritty about the back. Well, I need to get in the background so y'all can know what's going on. But, yeah, I think y'all know a little of what, what was going on. But, yeah, so, fast forward, <clears throat> it was, I was 2017, a few months passed after that. Like, it was, it was already allegations going around that she was pregnant. But, like, when she told him she was pregnant that last time, she was lying. So when she said it this time, I didn't believe it at all. So, and I stand honestly, and honestly, because a nigga will gas your head up so bad and lie so bad. So he would tell me, you know, she lying, like she was lying last time. I wasn't, I was having had sex with her and I don't know how long and all type of stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I was in school, y'all. I was in school, <coughs> y'all, and um, I seen a post on Facebook. Now, you know, I was younger, so I had her on Facebook. Um, but so she posted this whole flippogram on Facebook of the pregnancy test, of her telling him that she's pregnant, of, of her showing him the pregnancy test, and um, showing his response to it, and she was posting videos of them too. So, I seen the flipper ground. Y'all, when I seen that flipper ground, I was so hurt. Like, y'all, my 17 year old ass was so hurt. Like, y'all went to the bathroom and I cried. Like, I kept watching that. I was in school. Like, that's that what really blew me. I was in school, y'all. Like, my feelings was so freaking hurt about that. Like, I went in the bathroom and I kid y'all not, I started crying. Like, oof, I'm sorry, y'all. I started boo-hoo crying. Like, 
boo hoo, boo hoo, boo hoo, crying. Like, y'all, that shit, I was feeling so bad. And it was like, I was going through so much at that time. So I was going through all of that. And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? On top of that, you had a whole child on me. Cause we was still on and off. Like, you know, how these couples be on and off, breaking up, on and off, on and off. Like, we was on and off. And y'all, like, after I saw that, it just really did something to me. So me, <coughs> so me and him was on Facebook, like, talking about it. Because he sent, he ended up sending me one of those memes, one of them lovey-dovey memes. And, um, I just sent him a coffee emoji. He was like, what's that for? I was like, I never have respect for you no more. Like, I look at you so differently. And we ended up talking about it or whatever. And, you know, he ended up saying, um, you know, I, what did he say? Part of me wanted to tell you, and part of me didn't because I knew you would have left, but part of me wanted you to stay. I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't want you to find out this way. Um, I, I wanted us to talk about it. You know, I wanted you to stay. I didn't want, to, want you to leave after this. Um... You know, I'll be an effed up person if I just leave her, you know, with that child by herself because the child didn't ask to be here. And y'all know, I'm not, I'm not bitter. I was very petty right then, but I wasn't bitter ever. So I understood where he was coming from, you know. And of course, I would never ask nobody to not be in that child's life to be with me. I would never do that. So I understood where he was coming from, but I was still really hurt about the situation. Like, y'all, this was, that was, listen... I done been like hurt. I have well, I've been hurt after that. But this right here, I don't think nothing like, I don't anything that I go through in another relationship or whatever, I don't think that could ever hurt me and scar me as much as this did. Like y'all, I'm twenty two years old, I was about to say twenty three. <laughs> I was 22 years old, and this happened when I was like 16, 17, like 17, 18, around that range. And, ooh, and y'all, like I said, I'm very grateful for everything that has happened up until this point in my life because everything is a lesson, everything is a learning experience, and people do make mistakes. And, you know, he has told me multiple times, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, I don't really fool up with what these men talk about because they always lie. But honestly, when he told me that he was sorry, like we had a conversation face to face and all, like when he told me that he was sorry, like I 100% felt like he was sorry. So, you know, but like I said, it was a learning experience. Um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't wish that pain on nobody, I, even on the worst enemy, even on her, I wouldn't wish that type of anything on her, you know. It's just, things happen, you know, and at that point in my life, because I was, like I said, I was really young, so at that point in my life, I was just, I wasn't really thinking that, oh, you know, he having this baby with this side bitch, well, I did think that, but that wasn't my main <clears throat> source of thinking, my main source of thinking was, something gotta be wrong with me, like, what did I do, I wasn't I good enough, like, you know, what, like, what is it? Like, me and him was planning on going to college together, planning on moving in together. We was talking about our family, like, the family we wanted to build. We was talking about getting married. Like, we were supposed to be each other's soulmate, first love, first everything. Um, but God had different plans. <laughs> but y'all, to be real, I should have been did this story time because I was gonna been do this story time. I just didn't. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. To be honest, I really didn't want to do it because I thought I was gonna cry. I really thought I was gonna cry, but I didn't. And I'm proud of myself. But y'all, let me tell y'all, that going through that heartbreaking stuff is is not cool at all. Like y'all, I wouldn't wish that pain on nobody. Like y'all, when I tell y'all, I used to cry every night. Oh y'all, hold on. Bro, my mama came in my room one time. My mama came in my room. And she was like, you okay? She was like, I know you hurt. Like, that's your first love. I know you loved him. I know you love him. 
if you ever want to talk, I'm here. Y'all, I was trying to act like a thug. I told my mama, oh, I'm good, I'm good. I ain't even worried about it, I'm good. Y'all, as soon as my mama left out of that room, I locked my door and I started bawling. Like, I, y'all, that, that right there, that right there really had hurt me. And it did something to me. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know why I'm tearing up right now. Uh-uh. We ain't doing this on YouTube. But y'all, it really did. That really did do something to me. And honestly, <laughs> y'all, no, 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 no. Oh my God, no. Y'all, no. <laughs> but that really did hurt me and it really did do something to me. And I was really, I was very embarrassed. I was very, like, disappointed. I was very hurt. Like, I really thought that I would never fall for anybody ever again. Because, like, that's hurtful. Like, being cheated on already is hurtful. Let alone somebody having a child on you. And, you know, that's a lot to deal with being an adult. So, just imagine being so young and already going through so many things. Like, that right there really hurt me like y'all know what I'm saying like he was my first real boyfriend he took my virginity like he was the first person that I actually fell in love with like you know of course you have relationships younger than that but it's it, it's not you know that was young younger stuff like 13 14 you don't really remember stuff but this was my first relationship that I actually remember like I actually wanted to pursue future lifetime goals in y'all I wouldn't wish that pain on no freaking body like honestly that's why like with anybody that I talk to now or you know relationship anything I, I don't I don't let my previous stuff get to me because I know if I let that previous stuff get to me I'll never be able to fully commit or be in a relationship with somebody because I'm gonna still be thinking Oh, you about to do this. Oh, you gonna do that. But honestly, y'all, that was the end of the story time. Your girl got her heart broke. Your girl got played. Your girl got cheated on. Your girl got lied to. Your girl got played. Like, straight up played. But, um, yeah, y'all, like I said, this story time, have, this story happened years ago. I'm 22 years old. But for those of y'all that are 16, 17, going through this or went through that, y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, that pain, I wouldn't wish that pain on nobody. If you're going through that right now, <clears throat> I wouldn't wish that pain on nobody. Like, I know how it feels. And trust me, trust me, you gonna cry. Like, <coughs> trust me, <clears throat> you gonna cry. Like, even me sitting up here telling the story from years ago, I thought I wasn't going to cry, but I did it, little share, a little tear, whatever, but, and it's not about the, it's not about the man, trust me, it's not about the man, it's just about the situation and how it happened, you know, nobody wants to, nobody wants to get cheated on, nobody, like, that's, that's a really hurtful feeling, because that makes somebody think that they they weren't enough for you. Or they'll never, you know, it, it may, it makes people feel really bad. So, like I said, if you're going through this or went through it, I feel for you. Like I'm there for you, and trust and believe, it gonna hurt. Like you gonna cry, you gonna cry. Trust me, you gonna cry. You gonna wanna stay locked up, sheltered. You're not gonna really wanna talk to anybody. You're not gonna really wanna be bothered. But at the end, when you, when you really move on from that and when you really as you get older you really see what was going on like things that you were blinded by with love then that you can really speak on and see now you'll understand that everything happens for a reason and to be honest even though it really hurted me if I could go back I definitely would go back because imagine you not knowing that somebody you know what I'm saying ain't hitting on worth the damn and you don't pursue all this stuff with them. So it's good to, you know, good to get all of that at your young age. But honestly, y'all, yeah, this story time over. I ain't gonna do too much more rambling. But um, 
Like I said, I did this video for y'all because my subscribers love story times. And I noticed that about y'all. Y'all love story times. Y'all love little deep discussions. And I'm here for it. So, best believe it will be another story time. Um, comment some story times that y'all want to see because your girl got so many. But, uh, yeah, so make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share on all y'all social media platforms. And click the bell to be notified every time your girl upload on her channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video.